At this time yesterday, President Trump signed an executive order aimed to help Americans fill more than six and a half million open jobs in the United States. CEOs and industry leaders from more than 15 companies and associations took part in that event and signed this pledge on your screen to help educate and train U.S. workers to fill those vacant positions. And there are plenty of them, millions. As the president and his daughter Ivanka roll out the new jobs initiative, the president also continues to push for U.S energy dominance. One sector that certainly needs more qualified workers is nuclear energy. And our next guest is the CEO of Lightbridge, a leading developer of next generation nuclear fuel technology. We welcome in Seth Gray in a Fox Business exclusive. Seth, thank you so much for being here. We'll get into how the industry is doing, but what about this job applicant shortage? You're really seeing this in the nuclear energy sector? We, we are. For many skilled positions, the president pointed out yesterday there are six million jobs that can't be filled in the country because mm -hmm. of lack of correct skills. And in the nuclear power industry, we're racing to fill some jobs through university programs, but we're seeing the administration really step up now in private-public partnerships that are helping with training, including following yesterday's announcement. But the Department of Energy in particular is really leading the way on supporting companies that are training and employing millennials bringing them along from specialized welders in nuclear power to scientists and engineers and just throughout the industry, the positions that we need. We hear so often that these students get out of college with a huge <laughs> student debt hanging around their neck and getting no jobs. It just doesn't seem, the two don't seem to jibe. So what you're telling me is people aren't going to school for the right professions. Well, I think so. And look, one place I disagree with the president is on climate change, and it's mm. a real driver for our industry and our company. And what we're seeing in the pull from abroad for American exports in the nuclear power industry is to help deal with climate change, with mm -hmm. non-emitting energy. And it is an area that uh, we're, we're dealing in China, in India, in, in other places, that is an industry. Places that are really that doing could, and reducing their carbon emissions. Yeah, and also just choking air pollution yeah. and need massive power for the cities. Yeah. Uh, well, we know the president is, is, has been very supportive of fossil fuel industry, um, and he's also said he's supportive of the nuclear energy sector, but what, has he done anything tangible in that direction? Absolutely. The what's administration is, is really leading the world right now. And what's different with fossil fuels is we're really talking about commodities. And yes, mm -hmm. technology can help with commodities like hydrofracking uh, to change the market. Yeah. But in nuclear power, we're dealing with very advanced technology supported by the administration that will help American industry dominate here and around the world. The president has put out through the Department of Energy these funding opportunity announcements. Uh, several companies have already been awarded. Lightbridge will be applying this year. Mm -hmm. And the administration, more than really any other government in the world, is, is putting funding support behind new advanced nuclear energy technologies that will bring this industry forward. Now Nuclear power, from what I understand, accounts for, this is according to the brain room here at Fox, is, accounts for about 20% of total electricity generated in the U.S. Is that right? About, so a fifth. That's right. Is that heading higher? I mean, do you see that moving higher? Well, and, and, and how quickly? Well, it's held steady at 20% for years, which means there's been an increase in nuclear power each year as our energy use has grown each year and yeah. nuclear has kept pace. Now, mostly that's kept pace by increasing the energy output of the existing plants. Mm. And we've kind of tapped out how to do that. And one thing the light bridge technology will be able to do will be to increase that more and get a lot more power out of the existing plants. So is the biggest question around nuclear technology is safety? It always comes to is, is question how safe is this? And they've been, uh, nuclear power has been around a long time. How safe is the generation of nuclear power? Well, in the United States, it's the safest industry we have. Nobody has died in the history of this industry from radiation from a nuclear plant. Not a mm -hmm. worker, not a member of the public, not anybody. Now, we're always striving to make it safer. And with our new technology, we're looking to make the fuel run a thousand degrees Celsius cooler and have dramatic safety advantages. No Fukushima's and also no nuclear weapons usable materials. All right. Very good. We'll have to leave it there. But Seth Gray, thank you for coming in today. We appreciate it. Thank you, Ashley. All right. Thank you.